So today, I'm really excited to show you my daily drivers. As you can see, I've got my McDonald's sticker on it. So that means it's mine. I've used it for weeks and I'm here to show you my opinion and how LG can really improve and up their game. Let's take a look. Now, one thing you may or may not appreciate is how much value LG represents when they give you a product. They even include the dual screen case on this LG V60 ThinQ. But the value of their phone depreciates quite a bit faster than say the Samsung. Just one example, I was able to trade in my Note 10 from last year to this V60 ThinQ without adding a single dollar. So basically, literally, I get a new phone to play with absolutely for free. Now, it's a win-win for me, but for someone who is actually buying this phone for a thousand dollars, I wish you all the best. Now, one thing that I really like about this phone is how well built this thing is. It's really, really well built, very good quality phone. Now, one thing for sure is that LG is a very innovative company. They are very high tech, and especially for geeks like me, I love the way that they packed the quad deck and they kept the microphone jack and their camera systems. They are the ones who pioneered the ultra wide view cameras on all of their phones. Now, this LG V60 ThinQ is no exception. It has a great camera system. It has great menu mode. Now, one of the must-have accessories might be a Bluetooth mouse. I've already got it connected on number two, and number one is reserved for my laptop. And once I've paired it, I can see that I have mouse icon and I could be more productive and perhaps you might even want to have a Bluetooth keyboard but before you do that consider this next accessory no this is not a laptop but this is the HP lap dock that was released back in 2016 but surprisingly it works incredibly well with the LG V60 ThinQ. Now to get it to work, all you need to do is to push the power button here on the side, like so. And you're gonna plug this in to the side of the USB-C with the cable that was included here. I've plugged it in and ta-da! You see that it works great. And I can type. The trackpad is a little bit um, glitchy. What I mean by that is that the mouse icon doesn't show up as a mouse icon, but instead it's this really small pixelated mouse cursor thingy. Now the mouse is right there right now not sure if you can see it but if I use the actual mouse then you can see the bigger mouse icon and that's why it is highly recommended that you have a Bluetooth mouse and now you can completely use your lap dock as a computer connected to the LG V60 ThinQ. One thing that I wish that LG would have included was a stylus. Now I found this from Lenovo Flex 5 that works great on the LG V60 ThinQ. Now I hope that they would really market and advertise this because this basically is a game changer and you are now in the Note 10 or Note 20 Ultra category. Now, the number one accessory you should be getting for your LG V60 ThinQ is this. If you don't already have it, 
this dual screen will double your productivity literally with an extra screen now all you have to do is to pop it in and then you turn it on on the side it says turn on dual screen and there you have it you have two screens Woohoo! now what can you use this dual screen for for example you're reading the news I've got this app that I downloaded that will allow the dual screen view on almost all of the apps that you will be using including YouTube including uh, any news or Kindle app that will allow you to flip and turn the page and you see you can flip the page how cool is that now one thing that I wish that they would introduce is that they should have allowed the screen to extend to the two sides so you can take notes not with two different apps but instead of one app that extends the writing from here to here right now i have the nebo app open here and the OneNote app open here wouldn't it be wouldn't it be really nice to have an app that opens and uses both screen and write on the same documents this flagship is great value for money and for me this has been my daily driver for a couple of weeks now and i really love it now the reason why i love it is that the the overall experience is just really good and i've come from the era of the g5 the g6 the g7 the g8 and i've also owned the v30 and now the v60 now they have really improved over the years now my last LG phone was the LG G8 and there were some quirks here and there but they've really ironed out all the bugs that happened back in the LG G8 days however I really wish that they would just really fix the whole experience on their entire lineup give us the ability to unlock the bootloader or even root our phones so that the XDA community will be able to play around with it and make improvement adjustments that you can borrow from so overall I really like this phone it offers great values you must have seen a lot of reviews on it I like the fact that it comes with the dual screen case the battery life is amazing the camera is amazing to me and the sound quality it comes with a deck it has the headphone jack i can use it to take my real estate videos at different places i just have so much love for lg and i really wish lg to become more innovative and maybe spend a little bit more money on marketing so that people will know about your phones and i really appreciate the fact that lg just keeps trying and just keep being innovative and i wish lg all the best and this is edmund and i'll see you on the next one